Welcome to this series where we are playing the 1.10 update for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we finally fought our way through the derelict ship and got to the core. And what you can see, if you look carefully, is since the end of that video, I've started taking the ship apart, mainly because it's such a good source of loot. And I've got another project that I want to do, which if I come into here, because I was thinking about uh, what I wanted to do with this and my original plan was to build a space carrier but I've got myself into a little bit of a dilemma which I'll talk about in a little while so what I've decided to do was to opt for a, a, a workshop carrier now the one I'm looking at at the moment is the Persis Carrier CV3 this is a ship built by Jay Randall but you can see I've got a long way to go we need lots and lots of safety and the other possible one is the C2 version, but that needs even more uh, that, but that needs even more safety. But you can see it also needs some other devices to be unlocked before we can actually get and build it. But I think we've got a bit of a way to go for, for that. Also, what I say, if you've got any suggestions for another type of carry that you think is really good, feel free to chuck it in the comments and or take a look at it. So I haven't made a final decision over which one I want to build, but I think I really would like a space going. Uh, carrier because one of the problems I've got now is is the storage and that's the reason why all the stuff has been had to go up into the workshop because I don't really have enough space on this ship to carry all the output of this ship and I don't want to spend five or six parts uh, trying to build a, a new carrier but what I have done just to show you if I come into here I have stripped out all the main kind of really um, good work for quality stuff oh, and there's an RCS in there that probably could do with picking up but you can see I've taken out the thrusters the warp drive the car the extenders so now you can see that the, this is so I have actually extended this quite well <laughs> But it's going to take um, a, probably a couple more visits to get everything I want out of it. But what I really feel like, uh, especially after all the kind of hacking and slashing of the last part, I thought what we're going to do in this part is actually go to Simos and check that out. Because I think that there's going to be some useful resources there that we're going to need. So, so in this part, we're going to have a little bit of a change of pace. And after that, what we'll do is move forward onto the main mission. So I'm just going to drop that down there. We're just going to get up into the cockpit. And then I need to talk about something that's quite important. So we'll just get up to here. And jump in there. Turn the thrusters on. And we'll just go this way. Just line up. Right, let's scan. Oh, it looks like there's a asteroid there. Only seven kilometers away. I think we'll go for the asteroid first off the inertia drive and we're just heading that direction so what what i want to talk about when we're actually flying towards oh wow it's a Prometheus asteroid okay <laughs> uh right so I, I really want this Prometheus asteroid so what i'm going to do is get up there i will talk about what i want to talk about because it is quite important and i'll, I'll be really value your your input on what I, on what that subject's going to be but i really i mean but I really feel the taking down. Oops, just flown into the asteroid. There are some deposits around there. So, I mean, a Prometheum asteroid is not to be turned down. It's probably one of the higher ones that you always want to take on, simply because we could get a lot from this. So we're just just the ship, line it up, just move it over a little bit. Yeah. Turn the thrusters off. Uh, we should uh, put the weapons back on just in case we got. I think the shields are enabled. Yeah, it's so okay. We're good. And then get back on. We'll just get into position. Nope. Oh, what I do need is. Oh, I've, I've also kept some consoles back because we can might be able to sell comp consoles. Personal weapons. Where is the epic drill? There it is. So we're going to mine, uh, yeah, because if we're going to mine uh, Prometheum, we certainly want 
Where's the... That's not ammo, there we are. We're gonna need the epic drill, otherwise we'll be... ...all part, anyway. So we're just gonna come here. And I can't really put it into input because we don't have a lot of space, so we're just gonna have to use the main storage. And so we're gonna go here. So let's get the mining process started. And then I'll just talk a little bit about my dilemma, which is that after what you can say is quite a lot of time where there's been very little activity in the way of new releases and updates. This autumn, we seem to be running into a perfect storm, and the reason, and just to explain that, is that No Man's Sky has just released quite a major update. I've also been looking at Starborn 2, and I'm very, and I would really like to dive deeper into that game. And then of course, the big one that's, I think, if you're not living under a rock, you probably know what's coming, which is Starfield. And the, and I have to admit, I'm not completely sold on Starfield at the moment because. I'm getting a feeling with all the hype and the people talking it up and comparing it with No Man's Sky and and various other games, I'm I'm, I'm just wonder if I'm setting myself up for a disappointment. I'll uh, be completely honest. I've made a conscious decision not to watch any videos on all the new features in Starfield because I am a little bit worried about all the hype train, and I can remember, still remember back in 2016 when No Man's Sky came out. Well, the build-up for that was colossal, and then when the game came out, it was a little bit of a disappointment. Follow Spans' channel, you'd be aware that um, he's done a very interesting video on a what looks like a really good update for Reforged Eden as well. So that so and that's supposed to be dropping in the next couple of weeks as well. So that is, that would put it into say the middle of September. But then of course, if you follow the channel, you'd be aware that I do city building games as well. And of course, uh, there's City Skylines 2 coming out in October. So suddenly, after quite a dry spell of new games, there's uh, quite a big lot coming out. Now, of course, the reality is... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I mean, the reality is that uh, there's no way any single channel, especially with some of the capacity that I've got to make videos, can cover all those games. So that is my dilemma, which way to go. And of course, we've still got this series running. The problem is with all these other updates is there's got to be a big question mark over uh, how, much, how much longer I can keep this series going. So I'm going to be very interested for anyone who's got an opinion about what would you like to see on the channel? Um, what really gets you going? And if I probably put them in, in order it's probably Reforged Eden at the top because it's I, I do like Reforged Eden. Uh, possibly No Man's Sky after that, although I do have a problem with No Man's Sky in the sense that I've got to get actually get it to work on my uh, PC. I've been working on trying to find out why it won't run, but I have got an option with respect to possibly doing, uh, but I have got another option which I could do to do a No Man's Sky series. But I need to negotiate a little bit on that, but I won't talk about that because it's <laughs> it's not relevant. And then, of course, there's Starborn 2, and, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to stop going, guys, because obviously it's a bit confusing. So the question is, um, what would you like to see on the channel? What do you think is the cover? And, of course, more importantly, what really interests you? you know, what are you looking forward to doing? I, I mean, are you really hyped up with wanting to play Starfield? Are you kind of a bit wary about it? That's my dilemma. Uh, I'll be very interested in your input, opinions. Feel free to chuck it in the comments and we'll have a chat about it. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the video here while I mine out the rest of this Promethium because it's just taking a bit longer than I thought it would do. So, uh, so what I'll do is I'll see you once I've actually mined in all the Promethium. Okay, I think I've got it all as a little bit just up there. I think that's it. I think I've destroyed the entire. I don't know. There's a few little bits and pieces up here. Might be able to just pick up a little smidge. Okay, that's a lost contact with your drone. Yeah. 
So I think that's about it. Oh, no, it's a little bit. A few little pieces on the edge here. Gotta find my ship now. I've kind of been following the Promethean Ram. Oops, just means we're getting too far away from the ship. So we uh, just fly around here. That's the ship. Yeah, I think we got everything. Uh, uh, oops, let's just get back to. <laughs> I'm upside down. One of the hazards of mining in space that you tend to lose your orientation. So we're just flying up to here. On here. Get back off. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, maybe we need to go in the top. Top might be a safer option. Yeah. Back in the ship. Just to show you. Uh, so we got 3,143. For me from from that but what i will do is we're just gonna put the, the all the rock in input we got about 1850 uh, crush or stone whatever you want to call it and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn some of that into what am i short of silicon i've got plenty of um iron i've got quite a lot of thousand odd of copper over well over so I think we're we'll turn this into say about say about a hundred silicon. So we're just gonna get back up into the ships. We're doing very well today. Back into the ship right around here. And Head for Simos, wherever you are. Uh, there's a copper asteroid there, so there's the planet just there. Let's turn off the initial drive. And we'll see what's down on this planet. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna get some rare elements, something like estrum or circosium on this. It's a bit of because uh, what's that? With plants now type discovered barren metal. We've earned an explorer token. We do need to do something about the token. Here we got some Xerox plasma drones here. Um, I can't see a thing. Go green. Oops. We want us to see whether the drones are going to. So the drones are still friendly. Okay. <laughs> but there's some bases here as well. And that looks like a drone base because it's got a shield on it. What have we got in the way of resources? We've got 12 estrum, 18 zarcosium. That's safe. Now it's gold. We've got gold, 6 promethium. That's pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm quite liking that. Um, because, uh, let me just see. Go to the, the factory. Uh, yeah, we still need, I think I've got quite a lot of Neo. We certainly want some Estrum and Zarcosium. The big one is Sathium. Because the downside of the derelict ship was that it didn't really have any uh, what we call it um, combat steel blocks it was very much a um, hardened steel blocks which gave me loads of titanium which I didn't need but what I do need is some but what I do need is safium that could be the main stop it some um, that could be the main problem. We've got something here that's three kilometers away. Let me just go back to see if this is a POI. Because um, POIs often have combat steel 
box. So we'll just go and check this out. If it is a POI, let's get back to green, I think. See if we can pick up some detail. Mm. It's just. Oh, unknown faction, unfriendly. So, who's the unknown faction? I mean, given the colour, it could be the creel. I'll just keep below the mountain range then, so. Krill Centrum. Wow, so we got. Yeah, uh, hostile. <laughs> Interesting. You can imagine this thing is probably armed to the teeth. Well, let's see if we can get in and take a good look at it. Yep, here it comes. It comes the missiles. So the light's coming, so. Hmm. Oops. Ha ha ha. Get away from that. Right. What are you firing at? I don't want you firing at. You're wasting all my ammunition. I don't have that much of it. Let me just see. Devices. Uh, to the bases, NPC faction that mean that there's actually hostiles on the ground anyway let's just do a bit more exploration uh, I'm looking for uh, what do we find here cobalt um, medium sized not bad I'm looking for the zircosium and the cobalt so we found two cobalt deposits so far there's a looks like there's actually a ship over here Um, I think there's another krill base over there. What's this? Got a colonial settlement. Um, or colonist settlement, not a colonial settlement. I would like to do some trading if possible. Because we've got a lot of stuff which I could want to do with selling. So maybe we'll just do a little bit of trading as well. Um, if we can whoops chips just think down a bit like a dead fish uh, we don't need that so maybe this is going to be a mining and trading uh, thingy a bit far away but let's see if we can Find anyone to trade with in here. Uh, what is this planet actually breathable? I don't think so. No. Nope. There's public restrooms. <laughs> okay, there's nobody in there. Oh, this is an old POI. This should have constructors in it. Oh, it used, it used to have constructors in it. So it's just got. Aha, we can do some looting though. Okay, um. We'll take that. Like there's a medical block over there. Take what we can find. 
This is a very old style game, actually. <laughs> this is what you used to do back in the... That's interesting. That one's unfriendly. So it's not a completely a free lunch. But this is very much what you used to do back in the days of when the game was in alpha. You'd come to one of these places and loop down everything in sight. Um, right, what have you got here? Mr. Trady Guy. Uh, leather consoles. There we are. <laughs> New. Right, let me just put this in. Personal gear. One thing I did find on my when I was looting down the derelict ship was I found another medium armor and an armor boost as well. Storage. Not very much. Oh, we can put all six consoles in there. You can you can make money by actually selling consoles. Um, I don't think I've got any tech equipment. I think I shoved all those in. That one can also steal the oxygen as well. Uh, okay, he's got two of the go two of the same there. Sell some purified water and emergency rations. Um, if there's any but anybody else around, look, mate, what, are you going to be interested? No, you just stood around, slightly bow-legged. There's a med centre. Over there. Anything? Else? Some more um, boxes over here. No, we we visited these, haven't we? No, nope. take that. Oops. Oh, God knows what that was. Oh, okay, we're out of range of the... Too far away from the ship now. And then you pick up what we've got into our personal inventory. Don't you want the safety in plates? Because that's, at the moment, that's our only real source of safety. Uh, I think that's about it. Can't steal the crops. <laughs> no. Nope. So we've got to be selective in our faith, our theft. Oh, let's get down here. Fifteen radiations. It's a fairly radioactive planet. Um. Can't use that. Okay. what this is we'll just take a quick look anybody in here oh, we can still nick a waffle <laughs> uh, waffle 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 Do -do -do. we've got here noodle orbit um, guy's probably just yeah he's just trading food that's not great interest if his fridge is available yep take that empty his fridges um i think that's about it guys i uh, can't s of a building here but I don't think there's anything here no oops well nothing too spectacular but we got a little bit of loop so just get back into the ship and do a bit of an unload
Chop this in. That can go into food and meds. The Sapien plates. Actually, it no, I think at the moment we'll just put this stuff in the input. And we'll just shove the safety and plates up in the. Because we. It's like three. <laughs> it's going to take a little while to get to all that safety, isn't it? So we'll just come in here. Right, we got. Looks like we've got another krill establishment over here, so we'll go and check that out. Uh, maybe we can find a small. If we can, maybe if we can find a small one, we can have a crack at them. But I'm not exactly. Sure, we're not really equipped to go in all guns blazing. A large promethium deposit. I certainly would like that, but after. Thank you guys, apology. No. Um, part of me really would like to get that from Ethan Deposit. The problem's going to be is we're going to land here. It's also some. I think if we. I'm a bit worried about that plasma gem, but he's not attacking us. I think the, what, the only thing I can think of here is it's a bit rough. So I'm just going to land over here land anywhere. Rain's really rough. What am I gonna be too far away? No, I'm gonna leave that. I'll come I'll what I'll do is I'll mine that off camera guys. Because it's kind of a I mean I don't think the planet's that big is it? So I think well it's big enough. But I can come back and do that one off camera. The problem I've got at the moment is that uh, I'm a little bit pressed for time as well at the moment because of course here in the UK it's been a, a bank holiday which didn't help maps very much. Also as I've mentioned at the beginning is that I'm kind of trying to get my um, No Man's Sky fixed and if any of you have and if any of you have had to, there's a lot of Promethium up here, it's good to green it's almost too tempting yeah if any of you have ever had to try and fix drivers because I've, I've traced the problem down to actually drivers there's a Prometheum there's actually a Polaris up over that way so we're going to see if we can check out the Polaris yeah so I've, I've traced I think I'm pretty convinced that it's a driver problem but um, if you ever want to waste a complete day like I did the yesterday is try and sort out um, incompatible drivers <laughs> it is very time consuming very annoying and of course when you if you upgrade um, drivers you can knock out all your settings for things like recording and stuff so it is quite frustration that's a silicon that's no good I think we'll head for that Polaris base and see if we can do a bit more trading and then we will go and check out that krill base I think what's that there it's not showing on the got a colonial transport hub there uh, um, we could get more loot here actually wow I've just noticed something it's gonna land here get off the thrusters there there's another thing I'm gonna need is um, Pentaxid and just noticed over where is it over this side here oh, I thought it was about to have a firestorm looks like we've got some Pentaxid down in here that could be worth checking out um, because I thought we've got some iron as well but not oh, I was hoping for twos but I'll take ones so we're just gonna so I'm just gonna go round and pick these up uh, that's a two so blues two um red is one
that's good. So I didn't really want to have to mine out that. That looks like Neo. Just oops. Okay. Um, well, luckily I. Um, yeah, I thought it was. That is copper. How are we doing? We're getting up, we're sucking up a little bit of radiation. But that's okay. Just gonna. So this is quite a good planet to actually drop down on. I'm not so actually sure why I'm picking up copper ore, but that's okay. And we're that is Neo again. Not much, but we'll take it. Um, we're out of remote range for that, so there's no point going up to the colonial place. That's cobalt. So I'm not, I'm not sure why I'm picking it up because it's not worth much that much, but. I suppose if you're walking past it, you might as well pick it up. So we'll just uh... anyway. I'll see you once I get back to the ship. So here we are. We're back to the ship. Just get into there. Offload this stuff. We'll go into input. I can turn that into something and better something to eat. Uh, food and meds. Uh, eat these and one of these. And 92 food. Yep, I'll take us to stop below 500. And we're we'll just take off again. And we're just head for the Polaris station. And of course, this is where we find out that it's a really rich resource right next to the Polaris station, which was going to upset them if we mine it. Well, it says they're friendly. What's this? Okay, we found a Polaris way station, but the resource didn't got a crash sentinel front over there certainly wouldn't mind checking that out right is this if we can find an entrance here ah no 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 yeah we're gonna have to try and find a way into this yeah, just land here up the oxygen before we go checking for my drill that the medium estrum deposit So there's a medium estrum deposit right close by. How do we get into here? Oops. See if we can find an entrance. There we are. It's We got, we got a bit of a trading station here. What's this over here? Uh, gonna, yeah, we can't steal anything. <laughs> we got here landing pad, engineering, hangout, way back bar and grill, 
Okay, let's go up. Well, we got a farmy guy here. Okay, show me what you got to offer. Right, we've got some. I think I've got some surplus plants. Let me just see. We can sell off. I don't really need them at the moment. We can. We're at a point now where we can actually manufacture our own plants if we need it. Of course, we can't pick those up. But okay, please show me what you have to offer. Three tomato plants. Let's just sell off those. Uh, space carver. Space carver. It's got, must be space carver in it. So we got one well, eggplant. Sell wheat. I should just do it this way. Just this quick to do it that way. Space orange. Pepper sprout. Poppy plant. Not seeing any fiber plant. All that lowers. Start this off. I know it's not a lot of money, but I mean, it's all basically cluttering my ship up at the moment. So, and the last one I can't. Oh, there it is. Space carver. So that's tidied up a little bit of space here. Uh, what are you guys then? Who are you? Show me what you got to offer. Okay, you're the food guy. Um, got some energy drinks, but uh, not much point. We've got some Akua sparkling wine. I'm, I don't know if I've got some of that. Sell the sparkling wine and the root beer. I don't think it buy the root beer, but you might buy the sparkling wine. Don't really have much use for it, so I'm sure there it is there. So we'll just sell that off. Well, got another level. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing. So looks like everything else. What have we got up here? This is just accommodation. Um, looks like everything else was down on the thing. This level. Let's see what else we can find down here. Oh. See what's up here. Front exit. Any traders hidden amongst this lot? No. Nope. Like there's some med station stuff over here. Didn't check out. What I really want is someone who wants to trade in weapons. All right, we got med guy here. Got to offer bandages, um, plenty of bandages, help out. I wouldn't mind a some first aid kits. Uh, I think they were good for the rest. I mean, these aren't ex that expensive actually, so maybe we're buying one and more each of these as well. Got no idea where they're going, but uh -huh. oh, they've been added to my um, we got up here. Okay, this is the farming place again, so we just come through here. Ah, here we are. This looks a bit more like it. We come through here in the first place. True human multi-boost hand cannons. 
yeah, well, I've got plenty of hand cannons. And we've also got um, like weapons. Get rid of the hand cannons. That's a good start. And also, got any multi boost? Got one multi boost. That's a lot. Twenty-two root beer. Ah, <laughs> we can sell the root beers as well. Make a bit of money. We don't have any human crew. We don't. Have, we can sell the pistol rounds, but SMGs. Okay. What have you got for me? Oh, he's got Asterion and Zarkosian. We got some spare parts and fertilizer. Um, I think that's under. Who we got? Coolant. And got some platinum and ingots. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's where we said bars or no work. Just come in here. Coolants. 17 coolant. This gives us some money. Some spare parts. We'll sell off 11 of those. Xeno substrate, titanium ore. I think I've got some Xeno substrate as well. Let's just cancel that. I've got some night vision goggles as well. Uh, oh, sorry. Wrong place. We can I can sell the Xeno substrate. Be, wait, get out of the way. Because I can get more of that from the derelict ship. So let's sell. <laughs> any any sells it. Oh, thank you, game. Okay. What I will do, he's got plenty. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy some pentaxid. Buy a bit more actually, because pentaxid is the. Uh... Okay, that gives us a bit more pentaxid. Any more traders around here? No. Let's go back and check this guy and see if he's got anything else. No. Uh, can we. <laughs> that is free, but that one's not. Okay. I think that's about it, I think, trader-wise. I can't see anyone else. We'll, we'll go out this way just to see. Let's say here, front entrance. Right, I'm going to have to walk all the way round to find my ship again, so I'll see you once I get to the ship. So here we are, we're back in the ship. It's like crashed. Right, we've got a crashed sentinel front here. It'd be really nice if it had some. What are we firing at? Right, we're just going to check out the crashed sentinel front. What I'm looking for is combat still. Of the Sathium. Oops, down one. Some more Pentaxid down there as well. We'll have a look and see what we've got here. If it's plain steel, could be worth something, but uh, let's just have a look. What's the Still blocks, still blocks, okay. Uh, could excavate out, but 
Is it going to be worth it? Oh, a little bit of loot there. Oops. I don't think it's worth coring, is it? Not seeing anything of any great value. Whoops, inventory pool. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Now, I, it doesn't grab me, guys, so um, I don't think there's. It's just steel plates. Nothing. Great. Just gonna dive down and get the pentaxid from here as well. Just keep stacking, sticking. Uh, just keep uh, collecting this stuff. I've got loads and loads of resources on this planet. Right, looks like there's some Xerox bases over here. I'll go and check them out. Found some Estrum. These are drones. Okay. Oh wow. Ah. Okay, it's a different faction. That's antisocial. And of course it's right next to what I want, which is Sarcosium and you guys firing at let me just get pull away so I'm only friendly with the I think it's the house of abyssal isn't it um, just pull away it's interesting um what am I doing what are my guns set up to do Bases. I don't think. I think we'll just. I think that should attack the turrets. Go in. Make sure that's right. I've got rid of one. Not look of it. Uh, this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. I mean, this, this. We've got two down. Any more here? Another one just there. Oh, bit of a clumsy ship, really, for but the guns have stopped firing, so <laughs> that means we probably got control. The only downside with capital vessels on rocky planets, uh, you get a pebble on the ground. Looks like, well, it's, so the overseers are um, parts of the house of Zeno. Right, where just land here. And just turn the thrusters off. Mm. Guns out. In case there's hostiles, there's quite must admit it's quite interesting in the fact that you've got 
kind of two levels of uh, opposition. So we're friends with the House of Abyssal because we're friendly, we can do something, but the Xenos uh, hate us alongside the Krill. Let's go and have a look in here. I don't know if there's a way in here. There's the way in. Not now. Well. Do it the old fashioned way. Aha, <laughs> gotcha. Did somebody's status just change? Uh, well, we'll certainly take that into take it into main storage. We've got nothing else to do. Small generator. I'll certainly take the fuel. Four nine six. And there we go. Why am I, oh, it's probably the generator that's cooking me. Uh, take that. I've got a feeling that this has got other stuff hidden inside it. Oops. Yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. Okay. What we need to do is go back down here. Um, some purified water. <sighs> Oops. Mm. We're hooked to main storage. And what we'll do is fly up, break in through the sides, gain titanium plates, not I'll certainly take that. Um that all in there. Like that. We actually undermine this. We can go this planet that hot. <laughs> yep, yeah, sorry guys, I know I know they're your cousins. I'm not exactly sure. Oh. But 79 degrees outside. Didn't realise that. <laughs> okay, let's just get back into the ship and cool off. Again, it's all titanium plates, so. Let's just get back into the ship. And cool off a little bit. Have to up into here. Radiation's building up a little bit as well. <sighs> um, do we have any shower facilities on this ship? <laughs> um any showers? I can't remember now. I don't think I've used them. We got the generators there. Oh, and there must be some showers on the ship. Um, look round. Oh, that's a bit of an oversight. Anyway, I think I've run out of time on this video. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. Say any comments and opinions about what you'd like to see on the channel, feel free to chuck it into the video description. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.